Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. the right grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the grumpa cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Bethica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. Hmm, don't miss me too much. Good answer! You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. <laughs> Here, oh, there's a balloon? Huh, you know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded, but I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Gee, 
Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10, perf dirt. Uh, Snagsburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Bestie. Just a bad dream. Hey! You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Befica here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Hope you're, uh, having a good time, buddy. You should go and mingle with your new friends. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little Sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Grimble, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug I infused. So it's about as strong as you? I give this party a two out of ten. Uh, come on, everybody! It's a party! Woo! Drink, mingle, be wild. Bebefica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got to to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love! That's why your wife left you! I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here and Don't act like you're in charge! If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here! Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! And don't make me wrong! You all want Trippany back so bad? Go find her yourself! I know all about love. Y'all don't even know. Just because I don't weep all the time. Well, that 
wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Oh, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Huh? How can you write about bug snacks without first-hand experience? Oh, come on, at least try it. You gotta be curious, right? That's the spirit! Strabble! Ow. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I, uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll, um, I'll get out of your hair. Hi, Grandma. How you doing? Oh, hi. <gasps> I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. I'm Bethica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? Saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble, and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama! We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. cave was sweet! Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Agabelle. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Agabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? <laughs> no prop! I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. How's it going? 